Here is very important theorem. The statement of theorem says prove that under root 2 is an irrational number. Do you remember the irrational numbers? The numbers which are in which are thirds and indices and you see the decimal expansion which are not repeating and terminating. Those numbers are called irrational numbers. We know that this root 2 is an irrational number but how can we prove it? Let me try to make you understand the proof of this theorem. First let under root 2 is a, a rational number on the contrary rational number on the contrary we let under root 2 is a rational number so under root 2 must be equals to p by q where q is not equals to 0, p and q are integers. And very important result we will use here that HCF of these two numbers, the p and q equals to 1. This means both these numbers p and q have no common factor other than 1. Now we shall cross multiply these two numbers. We get p equals to under root 2q. And squaring these numbers, squaring both sides, we get p square equals to 2q square and what we observe here we see that the value of p square is 2q square we observe here that the value of p square equals to 2q square so therefore p square is divisible by 2 therefore p is also divisible by 2 by 2 by the theorem 1.3 now we let this equation is equation number 1 we observe therefore 2 is a factor of p now we shall put p equals to 2c in equation 1. And we, when we put it to p equals to 2c in equation 1, we get 2q square equals to 2p square. And we get 4p square. 2q square equals to 4p square. Cancelling to both the sides, we get q square equals to 2p square. Now, what we observe now, we observe that the value of q square equals to 2p square. So, q square is divisible by So, by the previous theorem, Q is also divisible by 2. And what we see now? We see, so, 2 is a factor of Q. Therefore, this is very important here. 2 is a common factor of both P and Q, but this contradicts the fact that P and Q have no common factor
other than one therefore this contradiction is because of our assumption that under root 2 is a rational number our assumption is wrong this leads implies that under root 2 is an irrational number this is the proof